Hi friends, my name is Prasant Uja from EC department, LDRP, ITR, Gandhinagar. So today my topic is embedded system. So in this lecture, I have to cover in this presentation, introduction to embedded system, overall the system block diagram, example of an embedded system and application of embedded system. So first introduction about the embedded system. So first is uh, what is a system? A way of working, executing, organizing, and managing one or many tasks according to a fixed set of rules, program, or set of plans. So this is simple definitions of system. Also an arrangement in which all units assemble and work together according to a program or plan. So in this embedded system, uh, there are lots of example. The first example is time display system. A watch is a simple system. Another is automatic alarm system. Next is automatic room temperature control system like AC. Another definitions for the embedded system is an embedded system is a system that has software embedded into computer hardware, which makes the system dedicated for an applications or specific part of an application or product or part of larger system. Another definition, an embedded system is one that has a dedicated purpose software embedded in a computer hardware. So let us consider a computer is a system. A computer is a system that has the following or more components like a microprocessor. A large memory comprises the following two kinds like the primary memory and secondary memory. A primary memory is includes the semiconductor memories like RAM, ROM, and the fast accessible catches. Secondary memory is uh, includes uh, magnetic memories located in hard disk, uh, cartridges, uh, any optical memories in CDs, ROMs, or memory sticks in mobile computer. So using which different user programs can load into the primary memory and can be run. So different IU un units such as a touch screen, modem, fax, modem etc so input units such as a keyboard mouse digitizer scanner etc same with the output units like lcd screen video monitor printer if we are considering the networking domain then networking units like ethernet card front end processor base server and buses drivers etc another is operating system as well as the some general purpose user interfaces and application software mostly in secondary memory so another next topic is the the component of an embedded system so mainly in the embedded system total three main components one is the call as a hardware another is a software and third one is a short form is altos but it is called as a real time operating system so in hardware embedded system hardware is built with a microprocessor or microcontroller the embedded system hardware has elements like input, output interfaces, user interfaces, memory, and the display. This is a simple embedded system block diagram. In this block diagram, look at this left hand side, the first block, it is a totally the hardware module, the part of our this block diagram. One is a power supply, reset, as well as the, your oscillator circuits. Another is input devices interfacing and some driver circuits are also the part of our input devices in the output devices that is lots of output interfaces and the driver circuits are also present in uh, system block diagram another is system applica application specific circuits another is processor timer interrupt controller program memory and data memory serial communication ports as well as the parallel ports all these peripherals are it is a uh, on single platform, it is called as an embedded system. In the software part, this is stored in the flash memory or the ROM, and which simultaneously provides many functions or tasks as per the fixed written program and code. When we are looking for the real time operating system that is called as an ARTOS, so which sur survives the application software task running on the hardware and organize the access to the system resources according to the priorities and timing constraint of the task in the system. 
this slide is a different platform and as well as we also discussed on about the different uh, uh, technical area so in this slide i have to discuss about the different area which types of languages are supported in these subjects what are the different software and tools are available and all these software and tools after the successful without any error compile your program it is generate uh, some output files and these output files we are just write or dump in different platform like the hardware kits so first one is that microprocessor so microprocessor includes a eight five and eight six so this microprocessor support assembly language and uh, we have to use that eight zero eight five as an emulator and this emulator is generate the dot hex file and this dot hex file we successfully download in with the help of the different hardware kits next is a microcontroller so microcontroller is based on eight zero eight five one and five two so this microcontroller is also support the assembly as well as the c and c plus plus so for this area we have to use kale microvision top win as well as the pinnacle uh, for the different software and this software is also generate the hex file and we have to use the different hardware kits for the different microcontroller another is vlsi that is college of very large scale integration so this vlsi use vsdl as well as the verilog sdl languages and for this language we have to use that xilinx quartus 2 and model sim different software as well as the tools and these tools generate a .sof file .bit file and this all the files we have to need fpj as well as the cpld trainer kit as well as the hardware kit next one is the peak microcontroller so peak microcontroller is again the rise with the for the past uh, different processor as well as the microcontroller so in this area we also use that assembly language as well as the c and c++ for that we use that micro c as a software again this software is generated the hex file and for different company use the different hardware kits like different robots as well as the micro electronics the hardware kits as well another is dsp that is called as a digital signal processing so this area we use that matlab tools as well as the ccs is called as a code composer studio so for that we also use the supporting language like c c++ as well as the matlab file and this uh, after successfully generate the dot object file and this object file we need to dsp processor is designed by the texas instrument okay so this is a different platform for the dsp processor and the most that why that's why we have to use that arm chip in our mobile so this is a heart of our mobile uh, any cellular system that is called as a advanced risk machine and the risc the full form is a re reduce instruction set computer for that it is also support the c c++ assembly language as well we need to kill microvision another software and it is again the generate the dot hex file and finally the arm kits and mobile platform for this different area next is the example of embed system when we are looking for the aerospace so in this area that is a navigation system automatic landing system it is again the example of embed system automotive fuel injection control airbag control another is communication satellites network routers switches and hubs another is computer graphics like the printers scanners keyboard display modem hard disk driver etc another is when we are discussing about the industrial like the example of embedded like elevator controls robots and autom automations for the example of the based embedded system in home these washers microwave ovens vcrs televisions stereo alarm system answering machine and automatic washing machine in instrumentation data collection oscilloscope signal generator and signal analyzer is example of embedded system when we are discussing about the medical so imaging system like x ray mri another is patient monitor system is the example of embedded system business smart cards atm fax machines biometric system face recognized system it is again the example of embedded system finally the personal design devices for the various applications is again the different example of embedded system another next topic is applications of embedded system embedded system have a different applications a few selected 
applications of embedded system are the smart car, telecommunication, satellite, missiles, digital consumer, electronics, as well as the computer networking. The first one is embedded system in automobile. So in this area, the application is like motor control system, cruise control system, engine, as well as the body safety, robotics in assembly line, car entertainment, car multimedia, as well as the mobile. So next application is in the area of telecommunication. So in the telecommunication, we are used that mobile computing, networking, as well as the different wireless uh, communications, how to connect the device in this telecommunication platform. Embedded system in smart card like the banking and telephone as well as the security system. It is the best application for the embedded system. Another in missiles and satellites. So defense, aerospace and communication is the best applications of embedded system. Embedded system in computer networking as well as in peripheral. So first one is a networking system as well as image processing, printers, network cards, monitors and display is the best applications of embedded system so embedded system is also in uh, digital consumer electronics like dvds different set of top box uh, hd tvs and digital camera is the best application of the embedded system okay thank you so much